What's up beautiful people, today we're going to be checking out some updates on the DA final wheelers hearing. It's going to be an interesting one, so stay tuned, brace yourself, and let's get to it. You'll okay, excuse me, we're in the middle of a Fonnie Willis trial. I'm just going to kind of put this together as it comes in. Terrence Bradley is back on the witness stand, uh, forced to testify by um, Judge uh, McAfee. And it's clear someone got to, the state got to, Terrence Bradley and said, you shut up or you're floating face down in the river. Someone got to him because his whole story changed. He is now going to lie and he's going to cover up Nathan Way. He's going to cover up for Fanny Willis because someone got to him. So he changed everything. Let's get to him and you'll see the flop sweat of the mess of the empty hull of a man. And by the way, it looks like Judge McAfee is getting much harder on him. Judge McAfee does not look compromised. He looks like a straight shooting judge. We're back to the same point, Miss Merchant. His personal knowledge is what I'm asking him what he told me. But he hasn't yet told you how he knows that. And so if, unless he, he can establish why he should be testifying on this at all, then there's no relevance. And I don't know what, how he knows that. that would then be the ask next, him. But that would be the next question. Then but ask I first, him how he knows it. I first have to establish that he said that. No, you don't. You could go the other way around. Judge McAfee is helping Miss Merchant uh, go after Bradley. So that's that's where we start. That's just to set the room. By the way, welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm Doug Tenapel. I hope you guys will subscribe if you want more Fannie Willis news, but let's not slow down. Let's watch the flop sweat. When you told me that it started when you left, when she left the DA's office and was a judge in South Fulton, where did you gain that knowledge from? Well, I'm going to object because his testimony a few minutes ago is that he did not recall making that statement. All right, I'll overrule that. Mr. Bradley, answer the question if you can. Okay, so Mr. Bradley's sitting there just frozen, can't even answer. His lawyer's trying to come and rescue him. And then it's the judge, McAfee, that says, I'm going to object. I'm going to, you go ahead and answer that question. So he's no, the judge is no longer uh, trying to protect Terrence Bradley with his attorney-client privilege. That's the main thing that got ripped off at the meeting. Repeat the question. <clears throat> when you told me that their relationship started when she left the DA's office and was a judge in South Fulton, where did you obtain that knowledge from? <laughs> it was, I was speculating. Um, I didn't have a um concrete fact no one told me i was speculating so that's new now now he's going hey no one told me anything i didn't see anything i was speculating i feel like they all came together and have a had a conversation like guys this is what we're going to answer and this is a story we're going to tell and that's what is going on right now no one told me I was speculating. No one told you that? No one told me that. You were speculating based on things that had been told to you or things you had observed? So I'm going to object as to uh, the nature of uh, this line of questioning because the witness has made it clear he was speculating as to how or what he knew. And if it's speculation, it's inadmissible before this court. All right, but the motivations for his reason for speculating would be admissible, so I'll overrule that. Thank you, Judge. We have an honest judge. That's... Uh, one of the major points on this thing is that Terrence Bradley is indeed dishonest as a witness and Judge McAfee is indeed an honest judge. Was this speculation when you told me that? Was that based on things that had been told to you and things that you had witnessed? I never witnessed anything. Okay. So, um, you know, it, it was speculation. I can't tell you um anything specific if that's what you're you're asking you can't tell me anything specific as to why you speculated about that no this was however many years ago i mean i don't recall but no i, I don't did you have any reason to lie i don't know if speculation is lying but oh yeah it's lying and you're lying by the way, he's looking over her Speculation shoulder. Speculation is not necessarily lying, though, is it? 
<laughs> your dog said he's lying and you're lying. It's lying and you're lying. <laughs> By the way, he keeps looking over her shoulder back at his lawyers. Get it, they're giving him some kind of hand signal, and that's going to be confronted by Merchant in just a minute. Let's keep going. Um, well, let, let me just talk, show me where in this text it says you're speculating. You didn't that? ask me if I was speculating or guessing. I didn't ask you, but tell me if it says anywhere here. That no, it speculation. Did, if this is the same one that you just showed me, it does not. And you're welcome if you need to to look at your text. Um, is there anywhere in here that indicates that you didn't have knowledge of no. knowledge? So she's setting up a, a kind of a making the case in the negative. Look at this piece of paper back when you gave us the, the testimony that mm -hmm. you knew that Nathan Wade and her had a relationship before they were supposed to. Did you ever tell us you were speculating? No. no, no I'm going to object. The line of questioning your honor directed counsel to uh, explore is where he got the knowledge. The lawyer's objecting everything. He deserves his fighting for his pay. <laughs> your honor, I'm going to object. The line of questioning your honor directed counsel to uh, explore is where he got the knowledge. He's explored that. He said it's speculation and he didn't get it from any source other than his own speculation. Sure. So I, think, I, I think we're flushing that out. And uh, uh, I think it's her right to have a little leeway on this if he's an adverse witness. So now the judge is giving her, Miss Merchant, way more leeway on pressing into him. So it's it, it's clear what happened. I think it's clear to everyone in the courtroom what happened. How do you have knowledge? What knowledge? Did, well, you just told us. You told us Mr. Wade told you. So tell us what Mr. Wade told you about Miss Willis and Mr. Wade meeting at the Evans office. Uh, objection, Your Honor. Privilege. This clearly covers a time after December 2018 that would be covered by the privilege. Yeah. Um, overruled. Overruled again. Judge McAfee is on them now. He. Mm -hmm. This is not looking good for Fannie Willis. He's not necessarily on them. I think it's logical to overrule because he helps contextually. He He's on to this whole thing being corrupt now. You recall the question, Mr. Bradley? I do not. Right. You re-asked the question, Ms. Merchant. What did you learn from Mr. Wade? I was clarified that's where you learned it from. About Mr. Willis, Mr. Wade and Ms. Willis meeting at the Evans office together. I don't object to ask an answer. He's testified that he hasn't conference. answered. He haven't, we haven't heard an answer. He, he testified he had one conversation with Mr. Wade in the back of his uh, law Judge, office. No, and, his, and his answer may change. So in the office to what? How to answer the question? I can't recall what the conversation was. Um, I do. I do recall um, knowing that they would. But this doesn't look good for America. I, like I must say, if, if all of this was in play, then it's a whole circle of weaponization of justice, like Trump has been saying. And people have been saying Trump just talks and he's been yelling and screaming and, you know, a lying, spreading rumor. But if this is the case for real, because the way it's looking and people are not answering questions, it's usually indicative of dishonesty. And it will mean Trump was right all along. Yeah. And it's not really good in America. Imagine how many people have had to go through this if it's been uncovered uncovered now. Knowing that they would, that he would go down to the office or had been down to the office, but I can't tell you in what capacity or when or any of that, no. Mr. Wade told you that they had sex at the office, though, correct? I don't recall him stating that, no. So now he's changing his testimony. Right on the and and McAfee knows it. The judge can see right now that this is a corrupt witness. And I think he may just go, you know what? This is you're not gonna help Bonnie Willis and you're not gonna help Nathan Wade on this one. Because guess what? Now I smell a rat. You don't recall it. No. So it's possible he did say that. <laughs> if you say it's not possible, then you're lying. You just don't remember one way or another? I do not remember him saying that. Um, I've never seen someone sigh so hard about not remembering his friend Nathan did not say 
that he had sex with Bonnie Willis. <laughs> he looks just torn in half. The most nervous guy ever. Now here's Miss Merchant saying, I just want you to notice that suddenly Terrence Bradley, in a terrifying way, keeps looking back at these lawyers to make sure that he's not doing something wrong. And Judge, I just want for the record, because sometimes the record doesn't reflect where people are looking, and that when I ask a question, Mr. Bradley is looking at Mr. Wade and his lawyer to wait for them to object, and they're clearly interacting somehow in the court. So I just want the ref record to reflect that, because it wouldn't otherwise. I just wanted to give you guys a flavor of the courtroom today. This does not look good for Pawnee Willis. That makes this a huge win for Trump. Let's hope McAfee stays top. Looks good for Trump. I'm Doug in exile. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the name you deserve, Doug in exile. Hopefully they don't come for you too. <laughs> yeah, that was an interesting one. I'm um, looking at that video. There's a lot of dishonesty going on right, right there. We saw a video of uh, somebody break down the Fanny Willis hearing and... A lot of the gestures, according to how the video interpreted it, also pointed to should I say lack of integrity, dishonesty, lies. It pointed to a lot of things, repetition and diversion. In is it deflection? Also, he had said, but a lot of things that were said or things that are going on in these hearings are kind of weird to me. You know, people are not being truthful. I don't know who, but I just perceive that people are not being truthful, or at least they are not divulging all the information. Anyways, let me know what you think. Feel free to share your thoughts. It was a pretty interesting one. I'll put the link to Doc's channel in the description so you can go check out more videos that he has. Smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.